everyone this is your Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation where t is the independent variable and x is a dependent variable so let's get going problem solve d square x by dt square minus 3 into dx by dt plus 2x equals to 0 solution given differential equation d square x by dt square minus 3x by dt plus 2x equals to 0. Let's write the given equation in operator form by replacing d by dt by operator capital D. Then d square by dt square will be capital D square. Okay. Now, take x common from all the three terms or better, change into operator form. d square x minus 3 into dx plus 2x equals to 0. Now, take x common from all these three terms and you'll get d square minus 3d plus 2 into x equals to 0, which is an operator form. f of d into x equals to 0, right? By comparing these two, we will get f of d, where f of d equals to d square minus 3d plus 2. Now, let's find the order and degree of the given equation. So, firstly, find the highest derivative. So, here d square x by dt square is our highest derivative. So, order will be 2. And the power of the highest derivative will be our degree. Here, the power of the highest derivative is 1, right? So, our degree will be 1. Fine. Now, we will find the solution to the given equation using auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into x equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to Replace d by m in f of d, then you'll get f of m equals to m square minus 3m plus 2. Then our auxiliary equation will be m square minus 3m plus 2 equals to 0. Now factorize this. this polynomial or you can write the above equation as m square minus 2m minus m plus 2 equals to 0 simply we'll split minus 3 as minus 2m minus m right minus 3m can be written as minus 2m minus m now take m common from the first two terms you'll get m times m minus 2. Now take minus common from the next two terms. You will get minus of m minus 2 equals to 0. So you are having m minus 2 in both the terms. Now take m minus 2 common from these two terms. You will get m minus 2 times m minus 1 equals to 0. Now equate m minus 2 to 0 and m minus 1 to 0 to get or to find roots of the auxiliary equation. Okay. M minus 2 equals to 0. M minus 1 equals to 0. From M minus 3 equals to 0, you will get M equals to 2, one root. And from M minus 1 equals to 0, you will get M equals to 1, which is the other root. 
so I am equals to 2 and 1 are the roots of f of m equals to 0. Right? Therefore, m equals to 2 and 1 are the real and distinct roots. Right? 2 and 1. We don't have any repeated root distinct roots. Right? So, our solution will be x equals to c1 e power if you have roots m1, m2, so on, mn distinct roots, then x will be here, x is the dependent variable. So, you will have x equals to c1 e power m1t plus c2 e power m2t plus o1 plus cn e power mn. Right? So, for roots 2 and 1, consider any of these two as m1 and the other as m2, then you'll have m. The general solution will be x equals to c1 e power 2t plus c2 e power 1 into t is t or x equals to c1 e power t plus c2 e power 2t. Okay. So, we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.